The Minis Forum MS01 is a compact mini PC server that can fit a GPU, but it has to be half height, half length, and single slotted. That really limits the options. The 4060 laptop looked promising, but it only has 8 gigs of VRAM. Then I stumbled upon the RTX 2000E with 16 gigs of VRAM, but there's barely any info online. This is a very obscure card. It's so obscure that only one vendor makes it. PNY, and it's barely mentioned on NVIDIA's own website. In addition, the price is significantly higher than the 4060 laptop. It retails at $850, and there's only a handful of vendors that sell it. I eventually got it from b and Photos and Videos. The installation is easy and straightforward, so let's talk performance. In 3D Mark Times 5, the RTX 2000E had a score of around 6000. While according to Jack Stone's video, the 4060 laptop scored more than 7000, which is about 20% better. Real Gaming Benchmark shows similar performance at both 64 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now the real test, the local LLM benchmarks. I ran the test with the exact same setup as the Jack Stone videos. With 8B model, they have similar generation speed at around 30 token per second. Next on what the 2000E shines best, only the 2000E can hold the full 13B model. The generation speed for this model is around 20 token per second. I went even further and fit the whole 30B model into the 2000E, and the generation speed at this time is around 4 tokens per second. On the other hand, there is no thermal throttling with this setup. I ran the Fermark test, and the TDB never dropped below 97%. In the end, is the RTX 2000E worth it? If you need more VRAM for local AI models, it's a strong choice. But at double the price of a 4060 laptop, it's not an easy buy. For me, so far it works. And I think the setup is worth it. For more details, check out the blog in the comments below.